Hello, dear colleagues. My name is Al Mohammed, and today we have an acute progressive high grade stenosis of the left middle cerebral artery, which we've treated with PDA and standing. It was a 90 years old patient, female, came from home with aphasia, one point on an IHSS scar. As you can see, she has a high grade stenosis of the M1 segment of the left middle cerebral artery with a delay on the time to drain in the CT perfusion. Initially, the patient was treated only with dual antiplatelet therapy with ticagrelor and aspirin. Three days later, the patient has deteriorated and developed a global aphasia with a hemiparesis, five points on the NIHSS score. And here we have the follow-up. As you can see, she has now a subtotal occlusion of the left middle cerebral artery with a severe perfusion deficit in almost all the MCA territory on the left side. So we've performed an acute mechanical recanalization, and here you can see a complete regredience of the middle cerebral artery stenosis and a complete regredience of the uh, perfusion deficit. And here we have a list of the materials and devices that we've used. We've used a PTA balloon microcatheter, newer speed 2 by 8 millimeters, and a micro stent cradle heel 3 by 25 millimeters with an anti thrombogenic coating. And here we go. We insert the long sheet Neuromax with the penumbracellic catheter into it into the short femoral sheath. And now we've moving the angio table to see the aortic arch. The penumbracellic catheter is already configured, and now we're trying to navigate the left common carotid artery. Here is it. And now we're pushing the Neuromax uh, long sheath a little bit distally. And here we make a roadmap to see the anatomy. And now we're pushing the penumbral select catheter into the internal carotid artery and, and the long sheath neuromax. We've removed the select catheter because we have reached our first destination. And now we, we have the intermediate catheter, penumbra 5 max. And now we're inserting the intermediate catheter and trying to navigate the distal parts of the internal carotid artery. And now we've reached the petrosal segment of the ICA. And here we're preparing our projection on A and B. And as you can see, we have a high grade stenosis of the left middle cerebral artery in the M1 segment with a very delayed flow in almost the all MCA territory. And now we need a 3D angiogram so that we can adjust our projection to see the MCA stenosis a little bit better and make a plan of our treatment. And here we have the 3D angiogram. And as you can see, this is the high-grade MCA stenosis. It's a subtotal occlusion. And now we will use the 3D angiogram to adjust our projections. And here we go. We zoom a little bit and inject contrast medium to see the anatomy. And now we can see the stenosis and we will focus on the stenosis. And we will take the maximum zoom that we have. And here is the stenosis on our target acquisition. 
and now we take this images and make an overlay of that and here we have the balloon microcatheter neurospeed 2 by 8 millimeters and now we are preparing the balloon inserting contrast medium in the hub of the balloon and attaching the syringe to the hub applying a negative pressure on the syringe and knocking on it with our finger and now we're attaching the lumen hub of the balloon to saline and we activate the hydrophilic coating by wiping it with a wet sheet and now we're waiting for the microwire synchro 14 and that's it and now we insert it in the back of the microcatheter balloon and here we're shaping the tip of the microwire with the shaper we just only need a little curve on the tip of the microwire And now we're inserting the micro catheter balloon with the micro wire. And now we are starting navigating the distal parts of the left ICA. Before we navigate the stenosis, we bring the intermediate catheter a little bit distally so that we have a very good base and now we are navigating the stenosis and here we are passing the stenosis and now we are at the distal parts of the m1 segment and 2 segment of the left mca and now we have a stable position of the microwire and here we're pushing the balloon catheter to reach the stenosis. The first distal marker of the balloon catheter is the tip of the microcatheter, and the following two markers are the markers of the balloon. And now we have here the inflator. And now we perform the PDA. We go to six bar and here is the balloon. We deflate the balloon. As you can see, we are a little bit distal in the stenosis so that we need to uh, pull the balloon a little bit back and repair from the PDA so that we make sure that we have um, reached the stenosis and now we pull the microwire and here we have the micro stand cradle heel 3 by 25 millimeters And now we're inserting the micro stent in the microcatheter balloon. This is the advantage of this uh, microcatheter balloon. You don't need to change to other uh, microcatheter. You just leave it in place and insert the micro stent. And here we have the micro stent. I'm trying to put the stent in the wall segment, M1 segment of the left middle cerebral artery, because it was. Um, this plastic and hypoplastic along the wall M1 segment. And now we're pushing uh, the micro stent a little bit and pulling the micro catheter balloon backwards. And now we have the stent in place. We can pull the micro stent 
pusher with the micro catheter balloon and now we take a round and see our results and as you can see a complete regredience of the MCA stenosis the inferior branch of the MCA was already a little bit delayed and we want we don't want to exaggerate and put another stent in this very small branch. On the left side, we have the stenosis before treatment, and on the right side, after treatment, and it is a very big difference. And here we have our overview. And as you can see, it's a very better um, blood flow in the MCA territory. And here we have on the left side before the treatment and on the right side after treatment, it is a very big difference. And we can see a lot more branches of the MCA territory. And now we've reached the end of our intervention. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. You can contact us per email. You can find our email addresses and further contact options in the video description below. Thank you for watching. See you next time. That was Al Muhammad. Peace out.